Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we got five new flashbacks in the game. It's literally only August 13th. So EA is doing a really good job of releasing new content in the game so big props to them but big props to you guys for 30,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's just absolutely insane. We went from 25k to 30k in like a week it was just absolutely crazy so thank you guys very very much for that we do have a flashback pack we're going to be opening in today's video so make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and also turn the notification bell on so you guys can notify whenever i do upload another video i also have two other videos already up today including series master david johnson gameplay and i also did 50 get a gold player packs which was pretty crazy so make sure you guys go ahead and check those videos out but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the new flashback packs on the new flashback players and one thing i will say is before i look at them because of the fact that we did just get new flashbacks in the game, first off, the players that did get flashbacks, I don't know how their price is going to look, because here's the thing. Power-ups. So how are power-ups going to affect the market this year? I don't know if they're going to affect it a lot. Uh, one card was Tyron Matthew. So the Honey Badger right now might be going down in price since he did just get a flashback. He's down at 95k, but... His power-up might be going up in price now, so that's something to keep an eye on this year is the fact that with new cards coming out, power-up's going to be kind of fluctuating in terms of prices. But also, when it comes to players that you need to do an elite badge or an elite token this year, uh, they're probably going to be up in price, like 82 to 83 overall uh, players. Right now, if you're on and you want to do an elite badge or you want to do a flashback pack, you need to make sure you buy these players quick because I feel like prices are probably going to go up a little bit. As you guys can see, 82 to 83s right now cost about 17k. 80 overalls cost about 10k and it looks like they're on the rise because of course people are going to be buying those but let's go ahead and take a look at the new flashbacks before we open up our flashback pack and i gotta say i'm super excited because as you guys know or i hope you know i do have the uh power up tyron matthew so i am definitely going to look into getting up this honey badger but let's take a look here also other flashbacks they might be falling down in price as well but if you pull any new flashbacks, you're probably making a pretty penny off of this. So as you guys can see, Lenny Collins is 139 right now. But let's take a look at the new guys, and it looks like... Where are they at? I know some of them up. Okay, so we have Jordan Howard. You guys can see right here. 89 overall Jordan Howard compared to Alvin Kamara. Now, we do get Saquon Barkley tomorrow. So if you guys want to buy Jordan Howard now, you can. But once again, if you did the rookie premiere uh, Saquon, then you get an 88 overall Saquon Barkley. So I don't know if it's worth it to get... Howard now, but he has 87 speed, 80 acceleration, 86 agility, 94 carry, crazy good carrying, 63 catching with a 76 elusiveness, 89 trucking, and 80 break tackle. He also has an 80 strength, so he's very, very, very strong. Uh, definitely a good, like a goal line back, a power halfback, a very, very good power halfback. He also has a 63 catching, and he also has himself a elusiveness of 76, a spin move of an 81, juke of an 82, and a stiff arm of an 81. That's pretty dang solid to me. Not to mention also the stamina of an 83, which is better than Kamara. And route running, not too bad. Definitely not the absolute best, but definitely not too bad. So Jordan Howard's pretty solid. Then we have 89, Sean freaking Lee, baby. Now take a look at Sean Lee compared to Levante David. Uh, 78 speed compared to 79, so he's still not the absolute best card in the game. But 83 Excel, pretty good. 74 strength, 93 tackle, 92 play wreck. 87 block shit with a 65 power move and of course his catching of an 80 is insane he has a jumping of a 69 which isn't the absolute best what's his zone coverage though is the real question zone of an 80 so that's pretty freaking good he also has an 89 stamina and a hit power of 82 which is the same as Devontae david so pretty comparable to Devontae david but the block shit's two better and the tackle's five better and also the player is four better so in my opinion probably the better card Next up, though, probably my favorite new flashback is Tyron Matthew. Now, I'm definitely going to try to pick this card up. I'm not trying to spend 400k, but if he's like 250, might just have to scoop him up today. Uh, 86 speed, 89 acceleration, 77 tackling. Also, was 88 play rank, 79 pursuit, 85 man, 88 zone, 85 hit power. And I love Tyron Matthew's cards, man. Absolutely crazy. He is only 5.9, which some people will completely 
just disregard this card because of his height he still plays amazing 84 catching he also has a jumping of an 81 which is one better so definitely you know i'll take that 53 block shed that's three better and this is the power of tower matthew not just the base lead so it is just a little bit better than the uh base lead card 58 catching traffic and a 69 spectacular catch now I saw something yesterday about when you power up cards, about how you could be using training instead of upgrading them. So I'm going to look into this Tyron Matthew card and see if I can upgrade it with just training instead of buying the flashback. But I'm pretty sure you get to buy the flashback to be able to power it up. But Tyron Matthew flashback, absolutely crazy looking card, and I definitely want to pick that up. Uh, I believe we also have like a Jordan Reed, if he's going to be up in the auction block. And I think there's one more, because that was only three. And there's five new guys. So let's take a look here. We have Jordan Howard. Darius Slate is the other one. That is right. Darius Slate and Jordan Reed. So look for Jordan Reed too. But you guys can see Darius Slay, 89 speed, 88 acceleration, also has an 88 agility, 82 jumping, 89 play rec, 86 man with a 90 zone coverage. That's crazy good zone for right now. Also has an 80 press and a catching of a 77 with a tackle of 57 and a jumping of 82. His block shed, though, is a 52. So that's actually a really good block shed. He also has a hit power of 68. So that's pretty freaking good, if you guys ask me. Uh, overall, I'd say the best new flashbacks, probably Honey Badger, Slay, and... Honestly, Howard's pretty freaking good. They're all really good, I'll say that for sure. But let me look up tight ends and see if we can find Jordan Reed up. Uh, the fact they just randomly dropped new flashbacks is pretty freaking cool. But it looks like Jordan Reed isn't up just yet. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up our new flashback pack. And hopefully we'll pull Jordan Reed out of there. Or, you know, we'll come back to the auction house afterwards and check to see if Jordan Reed's going to be up. But the cards I'm trying to pull. 110%, I want to get Tyron Matthew. If I get Tyron Matthew, I can just go ahead and power him up. Which, real quick, let me check um, if I can just power up Tyron Matthew without having to buy that card. I saw something with the Deion Jones card where you didn't have to actually buy the Deion Jones to power him up. But Tyron Matthew upgrade. And, okay. No, okay, so you actually have to have the card. That's, okay. That's respectable, I guess. But he has 87 speed, 90 acceleration, get him to a 90 overall with 85 catching. And a 54 block shed with an 86 hit power. That's pretty freaking crazy if you ask me. So I definitely want to try to get that card. But we're going to go ahead and open up this flashback pack. And then we're going to come back to the auction house and see if we can find the new Jordan Reed up. Hopefully, we can pull ourselves Tyron Matthew, Sean Lee, or any of the new ones. I'll take Jordan Reed too. Literally any new flashbacks I will take. If we're going to get an old one, hopefully we get either Joiner. Uh, Gilmore or Collins. If we get anybody else besides them, we're probably going to lose quite a bit of coins. So let's go ahead and get to this. But if you guys haven't smashed a like on the video, make sure you guys do that. Also, I will be live streaming later today, so a link to my Twitch will be in the description. Make sure you check that out. Have my Twitch uh, Prime sub button or just Twitch sub button in general. You can use Twitch Prime to subscribe to me over there if you guys want to. Make sure you come by the stream. I'll upload a video when I do go live. And also hit that sub button if you're not already subscribed. Trying to hit 40,000 subscribers real soon i think we might be able to get it by the end of the month if we keep up at this pace i think 35k 100 percent going to happen as long as you guys hit that sub and also turn the notification bell on but let's go ahead get into this flashback pack please ea give me something good give me tyron matthew tyron matthew come on baby come on mm. lamar miller dang dang so we got lamar miller unfortunately now he's probably not gonna be going for too much that's that's a rip in the chat. That is a rip. But let's go ahead and take a look now and see if the new flashback Jordan Reed is going to be up. Dang, that really sucks. Uh, but let's take a look. Jordan Reed, is he going to be up? He should be now. And yeah, so unfortunately, Jordan Reed is not up just yet. I don't know if he's going to be. But take a look at the new flashbacks. You guys can see their prices. Tyron Matthew, about 350k. Jordan Howard, uh, 238k. So you're still going to make probably about 200k if you pull any of the new flashback cards. Unfortunately... My luck, man. Just not the absolute best luck. We pulled Lamar Miller, who's going for right now about 87k, which isn't the absolute worst still. Like, 87k for a flashback. Definitely not too bad. But if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. If you guys happen to open up a flashback pack, did you pull one of the new flashbacks? Because I am definitely jealous of that. Unfortunately, we were not able to do so ourselves. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And also, make sure you check out my other videos from today. And, of course, tomorrow we do get Saquon Barkley. So... 
I'll have a video on once that set does drop. I'm probably going to drop a gameplay with that as well tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and throw up Lamar Miller, though, for 85k. Make sure you check out my other videos from today, including the David Johnson gameplay. It's definitely a good one. David Johnson's a freaking beast. So if you guys want to time, you know, determine if you want to pick up Jordan Howard, uh, David Johnson, or possibly Saquon Barkley, make sure you check that video out, and I'll see you guys next time.